We're going to take a look at uh, solid edge frames and capturing them in the draft environment. So I've already drawn a sketch here, which is going to be one part of my frame. And in solid edge frames, we can use sketches or the 3D sketch tool to define the path for our frame members. So I'm going to use the 3D sketch tool, and I'll just start with a node, and then use the Z key to lock to an axis. I can also type in, um, you know, maybe a dimension there. We'll make that. 10 inches and of course I can dimension that in 3D and then use that to drive it. And I'll keep going here and draw another member again locking that to the x-axis and then clicking on my edge to make it the same length. And I've drawn another portion of that frame. So let's go and add uh, a cross section or members to that rather. So I'm going to pick the type of mitering I want and I'm going to select chain because that will allow me to select these components all together. I'm going to go with uh, square tubing 2x2 two two for my recently used list. So that'll go and create that frame and then once it does I've got the option you can see that it's by default it's lying uh, you can see where it's lying relative to the sketch and I can go and change that either with the arrow keys or by picking on a specific part of the cross section in this case I want that right on the middle of my frame and that will go and adjust that. Okay let's go make a um, draft out of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, and save this first of all. Let's call this um, a new project. And I'm going to go here into, I'm going to exit my frame environment and go and create a drawing. I'm using a quick sheet again so that's very quickly going to create uh, a dimetric view of my frame as well as a uh, parts list over here. So you see that everything's been numbered. Uh, I can go and balloon these and they will balloon according to the number in the parts list. Okay, that's okay. Now notice in here in my parts list I've got um, a separate um, column for width and thickness. I'm just going to make some changes to that. Maybe instead of having those in separate columns, I want those all in the same column as material. So to do that, I'm just going to delete the two columns here and highlight my material column. Then go down and select width from um, my list. And instead of adding it as a column, I'm going to add the property to the column. Maybe put a separator in between and put in um, uh, some text. I'm going to then add thickness in here. This is in fact my wall thickness in this case. And then we'll make my column a little bit wider. So you see what that's done is that's put all my material information under the same column. This is sometimes handy when you're dealing with stock. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to describe some of this mitering in here. We actually have the option of doing that in Solid Edge. We can go back into our parts list and in the columns what we're looking for is miter cut 1 and miter cut 2. What that's going to do is add some columns that are going to show the um, angles of the mitering on those beams. So that's really cool and that works extremely well but I'm going to go back in here and add another frame member. I'm going to use my 3D uh, sketch again and just pick up on this corner element here and connect it to this corner in here. I'll then go make that as uh, a frame. I'm going to select one inch square tubing this time. And I can adjust its position by selecting the modify cross section and actually just using the arrows. So I can use the up or down or left or right arrows to kind of adjust that positioning on there. And that's kind of where I want it. Now, the trouble with this is that you see that mitering is a little more complex. It's not just a single degree. So the description I have in my uh, parts list isn't going to cut it. 